I began studying then in 1962 and I began with the idea of doing um, honours maths but as we progressed I realised no I wanted more than that so I moved into maths and science particularly physics and maths physics which is my great joy so and then I am um, at the end of the first year I had another look of what I was going to do and as I was probably going to teach I thought well instead of stick, sticking to maths and physics I would also do some chemistry so I ended up with maths physics and chemistry which was obviously uh, better for me when I was teaching. Yes, when I came to um, UCD first, I began in Elsford Terrace. Um, and uh, yes, I began as a religious. Um, in those days, um, religious had to go out two by two. So there were two of us. I was doing science and the other sister was doing um, arts. And then when um, we, it was the first building to move out to Belfield was the physics building. And as I was doing the physics, um, I, I obviously was one of the ones who had to move out. And we used to go halfway by bus together, and then she would get out of the bus and I would carry on on my own. It literally was in the middle of a green field. And also, we had quite a walk up. We had to get out of the bus at um, the television place now, that's where the bus, and we had to walk up there and walk through quite, the first road we walked up was in, I think it's called Greenfield Park, that was clear enough, but when we got higher up, we really, we had to walk on quite a bit of mud, and also we had to get from the, um, when we, the, the physics building was there, and we also had, at the very beginning, thank heavens, we had um, a canteen. And where, as we went from one to the other, it was quite muddy, getting from one to the other. And we had to do that because in the beginning, the building had no heating. For our, our first winter, there was no heating in the building. Yes, when you say that now, I just realise, really, Aresford Terrace was very basic. Um, from, the, from the science point of view, from another point of view, it was probably different. Um, but from the science point of view, it was very basic. So when we moved out to Belfield, obviously we had much more equipment. That was, and I look back on it, I think we, we saw how they, um, we used lasers and, um, um, what do you call it, and, uh, lasers and, and we had a f the first um, computer was there. We weren't able to look at it, it was huge. It was hardly fit into the sister room. It was a huge room. Uh, computer. They weren't too sure what they would use it for, but they had it. It was made progress. So there was, um, it was no, there was, it really was um, um, moving forward. Yes, I remember, I mean, I remember uh, measuring uh, lasers and things like that. Oh yes, chemistry, obviously, the chemistry, the physics moved out first and then the chemistry. And again, the chemistry had much more facilities than we'd had in Elsewhere Terrace. There really wasn't any comparison between the two. Yes, it, it really was for all of us, um, because it, in, you'd be, you'd be walk, it was, took nearly a quarter of an hour to walk from the um, television where we got out of the bus up to where we were. And um, the thing is that when it was raining, you got quite wet when you arrived there. But fortunately, I used to find, um, as religious, that on Saturday mornings, if any of the boys had their father's cars, they would give us all lifts down, back down into the city. So it was a, it was a very, there was a great sense of unity and sharing in, in, the, in the complex. I finished my degree in 1965. And by then, oh, well, I remember the chemistry section being built and, uh, and the biology section. And I, I remember the, um, the understanding that we had that this was not only just a university, it was, it was, there was a lot of research going on and they were interested in what was happening around. So we felt part of this curious looking forward. That's in, I particularly was interested in what they were doing in chemistry. I don't think it made much of a difference I have to say, though, for, for what it's worth, that when I was doing um, 
particularly mathematical physics, there were only two females in the class, the rest were all boys. So you, you, you really did actually stand out. And um, so I, otherwise, I don't think it made much of a difference to us. And we were treated normally. Oh, very much so, I really did. I began, I, in, in my process of life, I began two, two science labs. In the first school did have, when I went into my first school, they did have biology, but I set up the physics and chemistry lab. And then uh, I came back to Ireland, I was, that was in England. I came back to Ireland and I also set up the physics, chemistry and the science uh, labs in, in here in Ireland. So I've set up two of those. And some of my students have gone on to do um, physics, engineering, architecture, yes, they, they, it has grown. I, I think they were happy to move because once they realised they were going to a, more, a modern environment and actually the first group who moved felt rather special. We were leaving a lot behind and we were special ones being moved out and I think that was important. And even in the canteen we had, it was our canteen and that, that was important, yes. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have impacted on me so much, but obviously we felt quite um, isolated there. And that's probably why we built a community almost around. We, we got to know one another more but I th in, in the actual studies. But I think, the, um, I think that some of the students would have been quite happy to have had the use of their father's cars to get back into Dublin. <laughs> Well, I would presume it's because there were the facilities. There, there was very limited facilities in Alsford Terrace, very limited. Um, when you look at the size of that building, you can see that. Um, so that in order to, for the science to develop at all, it needed to move out. Um, I don't think they were thinking so much of uh, coming into uh, education in a big, field, a big way. But there was a lot of controversy about moving out to Belfield. They said we were moving out into the middle of nowhere and there was uh, some effort to get better uh, buses going out there. That was that. But uh, the, on, on the whole, the idea of moving the university out of the city was not looked upon with great joy. I would think that it, it, was, more, it was more that science was coming into view. They were beginning to understand that science was important in life. And it was, it was a gradual uh, development of that over the humanities, because until, until then, university was looked on very much more as humanities, wasn't it? And then it was this gradual opening out on the wider sense of science. I would definitely think that was there. Mm -hmm.